Hello, independent home buyers. Welcome back to segment two of our six part series where we're talking about navigating financing without the help of a real estate agent. I'm glad you stuck around because today's episode is a fundamental building block, types of mortgages and down payment requirements. Let's start by translating a little real estate speak. Fixed rate, adjustable rate, FHA, VA, conventional, commercial, hard money. These terms might sound like a foreign language now, but by the end of this, you'll be speaking fluent mortgage. As for the term down payment, this refers to the initial payment made by a buyer when purchasing a property. It's a lump sum of money paid upfront at the time of closing of the sale, separate from the mortgage loan amount. The required down payment is typically a percentage of the total purchase price of the property. Now, first up, fixed rate mortgages. This type of mortgage offers stability with a constant interest rate throughout the loan term and is what most buyers look for when getting pre-approved. It's like having a reliable anchor amidst the fluctuating tides of the real estate market. With a fixed rate mortgage, you know exactly what your monthly payments will be for the life of the loan, which can provide peace of mind and easier budgeting. Fixed rate mortgages come in a variety of term lengths and types, which we'll get into further below. Now, there's also adjustable rate mortgages. Unlike their fixed rate counterparts, adjustable rate mortgages, or ARMS, offer flexibility with interest rates that can vary over time. Typically, ARMS start with a lower initial interest rate, which can be advantageous if you plan to sell or refinance within a few years. However, it's important to understand that the interest rate and monthly payments can and likely will increase, sometimes significantly, after after the initial fixed rate period, so they may not be suitable for everyone. Moving on to FHA loans. These loans, insured by the Federal Housing Administration, are designed to make home ownership more accessible, particularly for first-time home buyers or those with less than perfect credit. FHA loans typically require lower down payments between 0 and 3.5% and have more lenient qualification criteria compared to conventional mortgages. These loans have some different safety requirements than their conventional counterparts that you should be aware of before making offers, of course, and they can be an excellent option for individuals who may not qualify for conventional financing. Next up, VA loans. VA loans are available to eligible military veterans, active duty service members, and their spouses. One of the most significant benefits of VA loans is that they often require no down payment, making home ownership more attainable for those who have served our country. Additionally, VA loans typically don't require private mortgage insurance or PMI, which can result in lower monthly payments compared to other loan types. These loans do sometimes require much larger upfront fees than some of their counterparts, so be sure to ask how those expenses differ and how much of these expenses can be financed within a loan. Now, let's touch on conventional loans. A conventional loan is a mortgage offered by private lenders, not backed by the government. They typically require a down payment of 3 to 20 percent. They have varying credit score requirements and many necessitate private mortgage insurance or PMI for down payments under 20 percent. Borrowers many times have the option of a fixed or adjustable interest rate, and there are various term lengths to choose from. While offering flexibility, conventional loans often demand good credit and stable income, but offer more flexibility on the type and condition of the property they're used to finance. Lastly, we'll touch quickly on renovation, commercial, and hard money loans. If you're looking to purchase a property that will require significant work and your goal is to finance the money you'll use for repairs, then you'll want to explore renovation loan options. There are renovation loans for both first-time and repeat homeowners that require different town down payment amounts, and it's important to understand you'll be required to work with a licensed and insured contractor who will need to follow the bank's formal process in order to access renovation funds. If you're considering multifamily properties that have more than four residential units or include any type of mixed use or commercial space, you'll be venturing into commercial financing territory. These loans are structured differently than residential mortgage loans with different financial requirements and repayment terms. We would suggest speaking with your local credit union if you think you'd like to explore commercial mortgage options and be prepared to put down at least 25%. Finally, if you're looking for a property to flip for a profit in a short period of time or to purchase something that needs more work than a renovation loan would allow, you could choose to explore private financing options, which is often referred to as hard money lending. Be extremely careful 
when pursuing this type of financing and do your due diligence to make sure you negotiate fair terms for yourself. Negotiating with sellers can be empowered by making sure you're utilizing financing suitable for the property they're selling, and a strong down payment can also help demonstrate financial stability and commitment, giving you leverage to possibly secure better deals and terms. Remember, with determination and the right strategies in your toolkit, you can achieve your dream of homeownership. If you found this valuable, hit the like button and subscribe for more insights. Stay informed, stay empowered, and happy home buying. See you for the final episode in this segment where we'll continue unraveling the intricacies of financing without an agent and talk about the mortgage pre-approval process in more detail. If you found this information valuable, be sure to share it. Your support keeps this community growing. See you soon.